That is fine. Suspicious what? Oh, you're the suspicious character. <laughs> okay. I think that is it. Is that the librarian? Oh my goodness. Hi. <laughs> Based on his posture, I think he lives here. I guess he's a sort of janitor or curator of the museum. <laughs> Concrete proof, you say? <laughs> good morning. Uh, good morning. Um, can I do something for you? I am very busy and I'd hate to lose time. Uh... Busy doing what? Oh, uh, I don't think you'd understand. Uh, you don't look like you have an open mind like us artists. Please, I'm very curious. Uh, no. What? Come on. Come on, share it with me. Um, uh, no. Come on. Okay, I don't think it was that important anyway. Um, not important. Are you kidding me? My research is, uh, um, of vital importance for Bone Town and its history. Is it now? What kind of research? Um, I'm trying to clear the name of one of the most controversial figures of Bone Town. Who are we talking about? Tom Rayleigh. He spent almost his whole life in here. Was he a researcher too? Uh, no. Uh, this was a prison once. They say that Rayleigh, because of his alcohol problems, spent most of his sober time in here. In every town there's a drunkard. Um, no. Tom wasn't a drunkard. His artistic life was very troubled. My research proved that. Have you already done other research on Rayleigh? Um, yes. Uh, you can find everything about it in the book I wrote on Rayleigh. You can take a copy if you like. Thanks. Yes, please. How come you're so obsessed with Tom Rayleigh? Um, it's not that I'm obsessed. Tom Rayleigh was an artist, just like me. Some of the objects in here are his works. But, as with all misunderstood geniuses, he had a devil inside. Um, some people claim that oh. in the midst of a drunken stupor, he could produce his best works. But once he was sober, he destroyed those works because he deemed them not to have been done by him. And I, being a misunderstood genius myself, now want to clear his image. If you say so. And how do you think you can do that? Uh, I'm trying to recover all the works left by the master. And in the meantime, I'm tracing Rayleigh's great-grandsons by delivering the only thing he left here in Bone Town. <laughs> His dignity? His dignity? Uh, no. Toothbrush? A toothbrush? Um, don't joke about that. We artists are not interested in personal care. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. I'm talking about that envelope. Oh. What are the contents of the envelope? Um, I don't know. It's an official document classified by the police and kept here in the museum. It says for Rayleigh's heirs. I can't open it. It would go against my artist's code of ethics. And probably against some laws as well. Um, yes. I'm looking for Rayleigh's heirs to deliver it. So I might know what happened to Rayleigh once he left Bone Town too. Okay. Are you the museum janitor? Uh, <laughs> uh, no. I'm the curator. As well as the only artist in Bone Town. Remarkable. Goodbye. Goodbye. Um, yes. Goodbye. Okay. Take the book. Take it. There's something written. Free. Maybe it will come in handy. Go ahead and take it. It will open both your heart and your mind. Some stickers to support Tom Rayleigh's cause are included as well. Stickers. We also need your help to make this artist known. Thanks. I like stickers. Prisons. The story of Tom Rayleigh. Hmm. Now I know why this book is free. It seems more like a series of rambling stories instead of a serious biography. Maybe there's just one bit of plausible information. Here it says that Tom Rayleigh's past is dark. He was repeatedly put in prison in Bone Town for being drunk and disorderly. The stickers are nice, but the book is useless to me. Okay. 
I'd rather put this book back in its place. Probably someone else will find it more interesting. <laughs> mm. Okay. Um, yes, then, Valley, that's true. I just, I just, I really want to take that envelope or open it because I don't care about ethics or laws or whatever. I mean, not in an adventure game. <laughs> Everything's mine. Okay, let's go to the restaurant. Would that person not get stickers? I I doubt I doubt anyone will come here and get the book, Shellman, but it's it's nice of you to think this. But yeah, it's kinda empty. I think we're good. Also they're mine now. Hey dude. Lucky. <gasps> What's that? A fortune cookie? <gasps> I want a fortune cookie. Hello. Good morning. Good morning, and welcome to the one eyed Jack of the Bellamy family. Oh. I glimpsed the menu outside the club. What's your specialty? Chicken, kid. Delicious, free range chicken. Only chicken? Absolutely, kid. Chicken is our main ingredient. Healthy, genuine, and it's not fattening, so you can eat as much as you want. We uh. Bellamy's have invented more than 100 recipes to serve it with. A diverse menu, then. How's business going? Money is not important to the Bellamy's. Our forefather, Eddie Bellamy, left us a little nest egg to pursue our family mission. And what would that be? Find the chosen one. Uh, what? What do you mean by chosen one? The family legend says that Eddie Bellamy, progenitor of the Bellamy's, learned every recipe on how to cook chicken. But his efforts in the kitchen seemed not to be appreciated by customers, who considered his recipes mere common chicken, bumpkins. So he created the only meal that was not chicken-based, the Bellamy cookie. <gasps> the patrons seemed to be thrilled by the extraordinary innovation. But Eddie, given the indifference his cooking received before that, imposed one condition. Only the chosen one could taste the cookie from the Bellamy recipe. And since then, from generation to generation, the search has kept going. Which cookie are we talking about? The sacred cookie, contained in that glass case, built to keep its fragrance intact. How long has it been in that case? Since the day it was baked by Eddie Bellamy. And according to legend, it seems Eddie found a recipe for a pastry that could last for centuries without losing its fragrance. Do you mean that in all these years, nobody was able to earn the right? Absolutely not. That is the original cookie. <laughs> Never has another one been baked. How can you recognize the chosen one? That'll be the only one who can pass the test. What test? The menu, kid. The menu. Only the worthy will listen to the entire menu without blinking an eye. And at that point, he'll have earned the cookie, along with honor and fame. Very epic. Where does the test take place? At the table. When you feel ready, take your seat, and we'll see if you might be the chosen one. But don't get your hopes up. We're extremely selective. I want to be the chosen one. I want the cookie. Give me the cookie. Give me the cookie. Are you a great-grandson of Eddie Bellamy? Absolutely, kid. My great-great-great-great-grandfather was the best cook of the Seven Seas. He was the one who founded the first One-Eyed Jack. And since then, we've come a long way. Wait, these are ridiculous ways to earn a cookie? I don't care, I want the cookie! I'll do anything! <laughs> or steal it later. I mean... Do you mean that you've expanded all over the world? Absolutely not. Bone Town has always been the one and only place where you can taste one of our delicacies. Do you mean that you've introduced new original recipes? Oh, absolutely not. Nobody can improve Grandfather Eddie's recipes. A distant cousin tried to do that, starting his own company, the Mix Something. But I haven't heard about it since, so I don't think he had our luck. Surely not your luck, yeah. What could that be? I don't get it, but it's okay anyway. I've seen that all through Bone Town there are new gutters. Yes. The mayor decided to invest the city's money that way. It's not a bad idea. By channeling the rainwater, 
The city will ensure some drinkable water. The mayor? Yes, Steve Bonnet. He's the man who's been taking care of the city for countless years. Luckily, he's in charge, or Bone Town would already be a ghost city. Okay. Thanks, and goodbye. Thanks to you, and enjoy your stay in Bone Town. I will. It's a glass case equipped with a lock. It seems there is a sort of fortune cookie inside it. If only I had a hammer. I can't open this case without the right key. The lock seems to be tamper-proof. Or a hammer. It's a very strong lock. I don't think it can be opened so easily. I need the key. It's a table. I see you want to prove yourself. Yep. When you're ready, call me. I'll be right there. I'm ready. I feel ready. Very well. I'm coming. Let's begin the test. We'll soon know if you're the chosen one or just another common person. Oh Our menu includes... Mushroom chicken, algae chicken, egg chicken, spicy chicken, sweet corn chicken, pepper chicken, olive chicken, chicken and vinegar, blah, blah, chicken, blah, 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 free range, blah, 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 blah herb crusted, blah, blah, blah. Hmm. Kid. Hey, kid. The test is over. Did I do it? I'm sorry. I thought you were different from the others. For now, you're not the chosen one. And yet I was sure I'd be the one. But I want some chicken blah blah blah. <clears throat> I think it's the restaurant manager. I think so too. Thanks, and goodbye. Thanks to you, and enjoy your stay in Bone Down. It would be terrible if something would have, would happen to that glass case, wouldn't it? It would be extremely, extremely, yeah, unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Yes, quite. Okay. Uh, I want to go to the other part of town, and then I'm gonna go back to the library. We still have that key in our room. And I wonder if I can go back and get that key. Or that's the end of the game or something. I think this is the town hall. And this is the entrance door. Interesting. What's over here? A drugstore? The fabulous Bone Town New Pub? Oh, it's good there too! Candy! It's full of every kind of bottle and vial. I don't even know if some are legal or not. It's the drugstore door. Candy! It contains a lot of jelly beans. Give me some. It only works with five cent coins. Is there a coin? Oh, I need money. Chad? Chad, do you have a do you have a do you have a coin for me? Chad? Come on, we want jelly beans. It only works with five cent coins. Ah oh, Mean! Just take it. Take it. Willie, just take it. Nobody's looking. Willie! Oh man! <laughs> To the drugstore! Oh, well, this is my kind of drugstore. Look at this cookies and candy and weird things. I'll take it. Oh, there's a cookie. I don't think the thing will take a cookie. I'll try. <laughs> If I'm not mistaken, 
It's Mendeleev's periodic table. I believe so too. Better not. I think the owner would be very upset. Give me your jelly beans. They seem delicious. Yes, they do. I'd like to take some, but I spent the last of my money at the Dead Man Inn. Uh, but I want candy. Now I want candy. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, tools. They look like garden tools. I wonder why they are in here. Take them. Hey, hey, hey! That is fragile instrumentation. You can't take it without authorization. Excuse me, I thought it was available for customers. No, it's extremely important equipment for my job. Only I can use it. Or whoever has my permission. All right. Okay, fine. It's a piece of paper with some writing on it. Take it. I need it. <laughs> I wrote down the ingredients I require to complete the recipe I'm working on. I understand. What kind of pharmacist are you? He looks more like a scientist than a pharmacist. Well, I don't know what he looks like, but... Hi. Good morning. Good morning. What can I do for you? I was just browsing. No problem. Uh, but please don't touch anything without my permission. I've arranged everything so that it will make my work easier. What work? I'm developing a recipe that will make me rich. <gasps> I just have to find the final ingredients. Is it jelly beans? Can I have some candies? Unfortunately, I have to say no. The ones you see in the shop are needed to complete the recipe I'm working on, as well as for my livelihood. I noticed. If you have some pocket change, there's a candy vending machine right outside the shop. You can take as much as you want. It's only five cents for a candy. Thanks a lot. A candy? A candy is five cents for one jelly bean? That's kind of expensive, isn't it? What are you working on, exactly? <clears throat> it's a recipe of my own concoction for a new, non-alcoholic drink. As soon as I find all the ingredients, I'll patent it. I've written everything I need on this piece of paper I found in the back room. There's still some ingredients missing to complete the recipe. Then I'm sure my life will take a turn, and I could say goodbye to Bone Town. Uh... What are you working on, exactly? It's a recipe of my own c I There's still then I'm sh Can I help you somehow? Hmm, let me think. Uh, oh, maybe there's something you could do. I need to go to the warehouse to get some things I couldn't find anywhere else in town. But I need a specific plant that grows here in these surroundings. It's a plant with white flowers that only grows in places exposed to the sun, <clears throat> but also with enough moisture. No problem. I'll see if I can pick one up and bring it to you. No, 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 no. It's it's extremely delicate. Any contact with the acids in human skin could ruin its essence. You should use specific instruments to pick it up and carry it. If you're willing to give me a hand, I can provide you with all you need. Okay. What would I get in return? Fortune and glory, kid. Fortune and glory. Tremendously epic. Yay. <laughs> all right. Very well. Help yourself to the container in the trowel near the door. Once you've identified the plant, use the trowel to put it in the container. I figured as much. Thanks. It will also take me a while to find what I need in the warehouse. Uh, we'll meet back here. All right. Really, the valley? Interesting. Five cents for one jelly bean seems so expensive. What's that piece of paper? I honestly don't know. I was going through the back room when the new recipe suddenly hit me. I grabbed the first piece of paper I came across to write down the ingredients. Can I see it? I'd rather you not. Our sector is very competitive. If I let you read the ingredients, you could steal my recipe. I can give it to you after the recipe is completed, when I'll be sure nobody will copy my work. Okay. Goodbye. See you soon. Bye. Anything else? Crunch, crunch. This must be the container the pharmacist told me about. When you find the plant with the white flowers, make sure to be as gentle as you can. I'll crunch. do my best. Lutes. I better be going now. Okay. <laughs> the owner was clearly in a great hurry to leave. Okay, so now go 
coins. It's over there. <clears throat> I came from this side. So we have more stuff to look at. The sign says, Welcome to the fabulous Bone Town New Pub. It's by far the most modern thing I've ever seen here in Bone Town. Uh, oh, hi. Uh, this looks like a garage or a basement. <gasps> a 3D printer. Oh. It's a 3D printer. It's weird seeing something so technologically advanced here in Bone Town. It doesn't work like that. It's the same printer we use at school. Here on the side is a multi-format reader. It can read USB sticks, CDs, etc. And it's also a scanner to read data directly from images. Once all the info has been inserted into the reader, it'll be converted into data, which will be passed on to the printer. Only then will it be ready to begin operating. Oh, okay. <laughs> <clears throat> They're automatic vending machines. I'm not thirsty. Futuristic power supply? Oh, goodness. Useless. I already have all the energy I need. It looks like some kind of power supply, but I've never seen anything like this. I don't know if it's the owner of this place or just a customer. Hi. Hi. Hello. Welcome to the fabulous Bone Town New Pub. Is this supposed to be a pub? It is. It's a full-fledged pub. You have the opportunity to select different drinks of your choice, and it's all automated. At first sight, it looks more like a garage with vending machines. Thank you. Details. This is the future. People don't want to waste time with chatter. They want to get straight to the point. And I offer what they want. A valid alternative to the old and worn down Bone Town premises. Maybe you should have invested a bit more in the interior design, like moving some tires or getting rid of the tools. I appeal to a different clientele. A bit in the style of Dine and Dash, but more like Drink and Dash. Well, if that is your philosophy, I'd say you've done a great job. I know. <clears throat> Thank you. Um. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I like a good pub. Especially in London. I like it. How is business going in Bone Town? I, I only opened this business recently, but I'm very confident. The market research I did before opening in Bone Town is very accurate. So it's just a matter of time, and then I'm sure I'll find great satisfaction. What kind of market research? I was passing by Bone Town when I had a car problem. I asked for help from the town mechanic. After the hike to check out my stalled car, he asked me if by any chance I had something to drink. And so the light bulb went on in my head. Ding! If people here need takeaway drinks, I'll be here to serve them. So you just relied on the opinion of a single person who happened to be thirsty. Exactly. <laughs> I know how to read the needs of a village. It's from little things that big projects grow. I have some serious doubts, but I wish you luck. Thanks, but luck doesn't have anything to do with it. Intuition and precise calculations are the foundations of every solid venture. That's right, I agree. Okay. How do you handle your operation? Ha! <laughs> That's simple. The vending machines and the signs do their work. I just have to wait for the customers and invest the proceeds in my other passion. Video games. Oh, so you're a developer? Ha! <laughs> Please. I want to make a living. I play everything I can and help developers with my precise and sharp feedback. Of course. <laughs> nice. Who's the town mechanic? He's a very skilled local handyman. They still call him the blacksmith here. He can fix practically anything. At first I had some problems with the vending machines, and he took care of making them go again. Now he's tinkering with my car. Now that I've moved here, I don't need it anymore. 
Since I have no urgency to get it fixed, I told the blacksmith he could work on it during the slow times. Since then, I haven't seen him around anymore. I understand. Okay. I noticed the new gutters in Bone Town. I didn't. I'm not from around here. I recently opened my business, and I'm dedicating body and soul to it. I've never ventured out to take a tour of the town. That's a shame. You don't know what you're missing. I also saw a 3D printer. Yes, it's the latest fashion. I decided to expand my market. By offering different products in the same store, I have more chance to succeed. Drinks and 3D printers? I see you also grasp the symbiosis of the two things. Hmm. I wasn't exactly paying you a compliment. This is another of my brilliant ideas. You can use it if you want. The first time, it's free, just to encourage the customer to come back. And many people use it here in Bone Town? Some pass by here to see it, supposing it's an aquarium. But as soon as they recognize its potential, a universe of opportunity will open up to them. I like your enthusiasm. I'll make good use of it too, then. It's at your disposal when you want it. Okay, cool. Can you use a 3D printer? Goodbye. See you soon. Yep, he's been here the whole time. <clears throat> um, okay, I think I'm gonna check out more of the town, but I also need a tiny bio break. So I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. 